everyone how are you all doing i hope you all are doing great so as i promised in my previous session that i'll be bringing very interesting topic uh so i'm back with one more interesting topic that is how you can filter a data table based on the date now i'm going to achieve this particular problem statement using link i know everyone are most of us are keen to know how to deal with link if you don't know uh, how to deal with link or start just to give, give you an idea on how to start with a uh, link do go through i have made series of uh, session on this particular topic with uh, some hands on uh, problem statement with the uh, solution do go through that uh, if you just click on the top i button uh, it will take you directly to the series of uh, playlist okay so uh, that being said uh, now let's start with the problem uh, definition for this session uh, we will be given a data table okay now the data table will have two columns dt uh, the first column would be the name second column would be the date we have been given one uh, uh, date string assume that it is uh, in a format of dd mm yyyy with this problem statement uh, or with this particular date we will have to filter out the data table and we will have to get the data which is before this particular the data dates that they have given okay the, 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 this will be the problem statement now let's move into the development part let's not keep you all waiting to achieve this we have two solutions one is using the for loop another using the link now what is the difference between these two solution is that if you opt the solution one first and foremost and which is important for all the automation process is the performance of the bot the reason that we develop any robot or is because or any automation process is because to reduce the manual hours and that being said the, the reducing the manual hours will also uh, matters to the bot as well so here we see that bot performance how much time it takes to perform certain action uh, would determine the bot's performance usually now as less it takes to perform a certain task would mean that the bot is more robust uh, it is more efficient uh, term that can we can use to say that the bot is very good okay now using for loop we may see that there it takes some more time compared to the link also maintenance perspective when you deal with for each loop uh, maintenance the code will be lengthy maintenance of that code will also matter come into picture so whenever you create any project it's not only the development part after development there is a part called support or maintenance perspective so when you when you think about maintenance perspective uh the for each loop code it will be a lengthy and uh, to maintain that kind of code uh, for any change request that comes up would impact your many uh steps in your code however for through for link using link you will have only one line of code so many of us opt link rather than going uh, using for each loop okay in this session we will be using link now to use or to uh, provide a solution for this we will be using two activities one is the assign how do we get this assign is search assign in your uh, uh, activity panel another activity would be build data table we will be building a data table now for the problem statement as mentioned in the problem statement we will have two columns name and the date now the date will let's make it as string we will have a format of string so i can explain you how you can convert string to date time format okay so in this particular session basically you will be learning two things how you can convert string to date how you can filter data table using date 
okay as a primary key element let's give it as name as a b c let's give it as date as 2 04 2023 uh, sorry 2 04 2023 which is in a this is in a format of uh, dd mmyy let's give another name as let's automate uh, why not right uh let's say 01 04 let's give one more name which is beyond this date uh, 02 let's say cvd and ne- uh, the date like let's give it as 04 to 05 2023 now this is my input expected output would be row number 2 okay so let's do this i need to declare dt or create dt also let's declare one variable which holds the our date which is date value equal to the string okay so i have created this particular uh, date value just to showcase uh, you all on which particular date that we are going to take and for your information this date is there in the first row of the data table now let's place this date over dt over here let's open the panel let's write our code okay this will be a simple uh, link query from start with p in or let's say let's give it as proper naming convention row in dt dot select okay where let's open the uh, bracket now here what i am going to do i need to pair, match each row with date so now the catch is let's save this let's take a right line let me explain you what we are going to do your next step now what we need to do we have the date it's in the string format that needs to be converted into date so that we can match uh, each of them and get the required output okay so to do that we need to have date time pass exact okay now here your date uh, input string will come into picture after this your format format would be for us would be dd mm yyy now the next one would be we need to declare what type of uh, uh, the globalization of this we need to declare that so that for that system dot uh, globalization dot cultural info dot uh so let's say invariant culture okay uh so i will be making a another video wherein i will be explaining in depth on the date time uh how do, uh, each individual uh, uh, parameter of cultural info so that you will get more understanding about what is we are dealing here okay if we continue in this itself then the entire video uh, will be a lengthy one and uh, the, we will be deviating from our main uh, problem statement so let's not do that let's do uh, let let me make another video for you all so that you will understand uh, properly or better way okay uh, so let me delete this i don't need that right line let me go back to our uh, expression window let me fa- paste whatever i have copied from there okay here your input data for me here is row of the column would be date dot to string okay now i am done with this let's say where the bracket gets closed here right now what i need to do select row okay now let's see 
select row it's done dot to array dot copy to data table now there is some issue okay so let's see what is the issue it says date cannot be converted into boolean right because what we did we just added this 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 results in boolean value this does not return us the data row that we need so to deal with this we must add one our one more condition we have been given a date value right we need to convert that also and match them so as per our requirement what we need to do is let me to control z we need to match each row and get the uh, row which with in which the date uh, would be less than the given date okay so copy this less than right now over here it's not the row it should be date value okay now we are done with this oh, sorry if this is r okay now let's see what is the issue again it requires the bracket so let me see which bracket i have missed here i need to add one more because let's see our code it ends over there right and uh, this one let's see again ah my bad it should be select right it's more it look even a small mistake with spelling will impact your code right now this is done now let's do one thing let's have the output data table dt here let's say output uh, table and uh, let's print that let's have the right line let's print that output table of data so what i did now uh, through a uh, link i have uh, mapped each row and converted the e converted each row to date time variable uh, format and then compare them with the given date extracting the uh, date which are uh, less than the given date okay or extracting the row which is less than given date we are hoping to get second row which is less let's automate with the date 0104 2023 we have executed our code now let's see the output see as we expected we got the result now let's say let's make a few adjustment to our code let's me uh, say that we need the date beyond uh, the given date so greater than symbol would come into picture over there let's run and see how things works row number 3 should be printed that is correct like if i open my data table this should be printed because it is 04 may 2023 and what is our output it should be 04052023 okay so let me replace one again let's say current date should all or the given date should also be included okay less than or equal to that means first and second row we need to get as an output let's see right if you see row number 1 row number 2 that is what expected output right so see this is so simple and so easy to write a link query uh, compared to of using the for each loop so that covers our today's discussion or today's uh, problem walk through 
on um, filtering the data table using given date okay so i hope uh, this helped you to understand how we deal with link and uh, how we uh, deal with data tables etc uh, so yeah that's all for today i hope you enjoyed this video and uh, thank you so much for all the support uh, I, i really appreciate it if you have not subscribed to my channel please do it will it will be a really helpful to create uh, more videos uh, and uh, yeah in, please do suggest in the comment box that if you are interested in, to learn any new topics so yeah thanks for watching have a nice day goodbye